Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Could jetpack racing be the hot sport of 2019? The TH-119 helicopter performs its first flight, and SpaceX says Starship test flights could begin in April. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Skylar Vanell. Are you ready for jetpack racing? Well, it could be the new hot sport in 2019, according to Jetpack Aviation's CEO, David Maiman. After 12 months of testing two of their jetpacks in side-by-side -side flights, the testing was done to determine whether its jetpacks can be flown safely in close proximity to each other. And now Jetpack Aviation has announced the launch of its racing league, and it's inviting the world to join in. Maiman said they are excited and it's the first time in history that the two jetpacks have flown together. He also said they've done a huge amount of testing and now it's time to get to racing. The JPA jetpack used in the racing league are capable of flying at over 200 miles per hour. And they are working with inventors of other VTOL aircraft to determine whether their aircraft are appropriate for the league. The company said they love the turbine VTOL technology and they want to see the league become a place where other companies can also demonstrate their contribution to the future of transportation. Coming up after the break, experimental category aircraft accident totals continue to fall as we take you around the patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Accidents in experimental category aircraft, including amateur-built aircraft, continue their decline during the FAA's 2018 fiscal year. This is the fourth straight year they have seen a decline. Total fatal accidents fell 2% to a total of 44. The final figures are nearly 14% below the FAA's not-to-exceed goal of 51 fatal accidents. The low-cost Irish carrier Ryanair has filed paperwork to fire all of its Netherlands-based pilots and cabin crew. This comes after crews refused to be voluntarily relocated to bases such as Morocco and Belarus. Ryanair filed paperwork with the Dutch Employee Insurance Agency for the collective firing. On November 5th, Ryanair closed its Dutch base, citing bad economic results. The United States Air Force airplanes are aging and becoming more difficult to repair. The fleet of aircraft flown by the Air Force averages about 28 years old. And that's according to the Congressional Budget Office. Modernizing and replacing the fleet would be expensive. On the order of $26 billion a year through mid-2030s, the CBO forecasts to replace the old with the new. The Air Force budget would have to grow from $10 billion in 2018 to $15 billion in the mid to late 2020s and on to $26 billion by 2033. Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser spacecraft passed a key milestone for NASA's Commercial Resupply Services II contract, validating design, performance, and clearing the way for full spacecraft production. The milestone marks completion of Integration Review 4, demonstrating NASA's confidence in the safety and maturity of Dream Chaser's design. Well, that wraps up today's trip around the patch. 
Leonardo has successfully completed the initial flight test of the TH-119 IFR training helicopter. The 119 is Leonardo's bid to replace the U.S. Navy's aging fleet of the TH-57 Sea Ranger training helicopters. The aircraft remains on track to achieve full FAA IFR certification early this year, making it the only single-engine IFR certified helicopter in production in decades. The 119 is certified to operate in actual instrument conditions, resulting in more available training days that limit the VFR-only aircraft and add to the overall time to train. The Dual Display Genesis Aerosystems Advanced Glass Cockpit allows instruction from either pilot seat with full IFR capabilities, including flight director and three-axis full autopilot. It is powered by Pratt & Whitney to minimize time on the ground and maximize operational flexibility. The 119 can hot pressure refuel. If selected by the U.S. Navy, a fleet of over 125 will be built. If you have a story suggestion for us, send us an email to news-spy at arrow-news.net. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. SpaceX hopes to conduct a preliminary test flight of its Starship concept spacecraft coming up in April. But it will not be the sleek passenger carrying machine that is depicted in the company's marketing and media materials. According to Elon Musk and the COO Gwen Shotwell, the first flight will be short distance launches. Musk said that the test article will be as wide as the final planned Starship, but not as tall. And Musk and Shotwell had initially announced that the short hop flights would happen in late 2019. But in a recent tweet, Musk said that he is hopeful that the first flight will come in March or April. SpaceX has said that it hopes to have a Starship spacecraft on an orbital test flight in 2020. Well, that does it for today's show. Make sure you follow us on social media or for 24-7 real-time coverage go visit us at arrow-news.net. Thanks for watching today, and we'll see you back next week for more Airborne Unlimited.